Brownian motion. You guys be reading about what Robert Brown did back in 1830? He's looking in a microscope. And in the microscope, he sees little things jiggling. And at first he thought it was something in there alive. It was little particles of soot. And these little things are jiggling, jiggling, jiggling. And Brown thought that maybe he saw atoms. But they weren't atoms. Guess what they were again? Little specks of dust banged into by, guess what? Atoms. It's like this. See this styrofoam cup? You guys can all see this. See this little BB right here? A little BB in my hand? I got a whole bunch of them there, see them? I'll spill them on the table. See all those BBs? <laughs> you guys can't see those BBs because you're too far away from them, okay? But can you picture this? Can you picture the styrofoam cup on the table and all these BBs all moving around haphazardly, chaotically, and every once in a while the BBs, more BBs hit one side of the cup than the other? What would the cup do? Wouldn't the cup start to jiggle? And you guys can see the cup, but you can't see what's making the cup jiggle. You know there's something smaller than you can see is making the cup jiggle. And that's what Robert Brown saw in his microscope. He saw little particles big enough to see jiggle. Why jiggling? Small enough. There could be more atoms on one side than the other. A little bit more net force on one side than the other. Boom, that thing will jiggle around. So in response to the jiggling atoms, boom, the visible observation, microscopic particles moving. Brownian motion.